Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Catching Up with the Catrons. This is episode number six. Uh, what's up, everybody? I think we're almost out of quarantine, right? We are so close. So close. Close. <laughs> getting there, guys. We're getting there. How was your week, man? Oh, it was pretty good. Just been busy. Um, busy doing stuff around the house. Actually, just got a, had somebody come over and kind of give us a quote for putting in a water softener. Awesome. Awesome. That's, That's exciting. News of the week. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably the most exciting part of my week. <laughs> yeah, it's been kind of a, an odd week for me, but um, just been trying to stay busy and I'm waiting for the sunshine to open up so I can get outside and play some soccer, play some golf, just do something outside. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Yeah. What do we, so why don't you give a little update on what we're doing here today? Let's give us a rundown. Yeah, so uh, on today's episode, um, we're going to do a little bit of a talk about the market, and like we usually do. We've got a special guest coming up that we're going to be doing an interview with, uh, Max Allen. I know a lot of you out there probably know who he is. And then we're going to end it with a little bit of a fun segment. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a twist on our normal DIY fails. Uh, we're going to kind of see, what we, we're calling it, uh, would you use that ladder? That's what okay. we're going to call it this week. Would you oh. use that ladder? I like that. Okay. Well, awesome. Well, I'm super excited yeah. about our guest as well. Um, you know, one of the things we always try to, to get everybody caught up on is the, the real estate market. So let's get everybody caught up on the real estate market. And this week, I figured it would be fun to turn this into a game show. <laughs> the real estate market game show with Catch It Up with the Catrons. Or something along right. those lines. And uh, right. you're going to be my first contestant today, Seth. Come on down. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So i got a couple questions for you uh, today. If you can get four out of five questions correct, you will win a brand new set of ice cube trays. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. For all, all your right. cocktails. All right. For yeah, our next let's play. For our next cocktail. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, folks. You guys can play along at home. First couple of questions are going to be true and false. Question okay. number one. The new listings in our real estate market are down. True or false? New listings. Down from last week or down from this time last month? Oh, good question. Down from last week. So in our in the heat of it right now, right? Listings have been going up. Question again is, are new listings down? True or false? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say false. I think they're up. They're actually down. Really? Yeah, it's true. New listings are actually down. Um, last week. There were 761 new listings. This week, there's only 702. So not a big ah. difference, but they're down a little bit. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's so one wrong. Okay. Second question, true or false? The new pendings, the amount of homes that have actually gone under contract, the new pendings are up. True or false? I haven't looked at any of the market data this week. Um, I'm going to say... True, I think they're up. New pendings are, are up is what you're saying? They're actually down. Really? New pendings are down. There was only 1,038 this week, and last week there was 1,128. Wow, okay. It was a little close, a little close. close. Yep. Question number three. Is the current inventory for Marion County, and this is going to be a multiple choice, okay? So is yeah. the current inventory for Marion County less than two months of inventory, less than one month of inventory, or less than two weeks 
of inventory or less than one week of inventory. So is the current oh, inventory for Marion County less than two months, less than one month, less than two weeks, or less than one week? I'm going to say it's just under one month. Just under one month? This is a tricky one. Inventory is just under two weeks. No way. So, so for Marion County right now, and this is based off of what we call the absorption rate. So how long does it take for the market to absorb all the homes that are for sale? And assuming that no more homes come on the market right now, there's only one and a half weeks of inventory. Wow. That's crazy. So it also okay. kind of means that after a week and a half, if nobody else puts their house on the market, we're out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that, that's not going to happen. All right. Next question. Question number four. This is an either or. Is the biggest buying demographic, okay, the, what's the biggest buying pool, the, that group, the demographic? What's the biggest buying demographic? Is it A, B, baby boomers, or is it B, millennials? I'm going to say baby boomers. It's actually the millennials. Really? Yep. The millennials are, wow. are finally starting to get pre-approved. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you actually, the, so the baby boomers, and not a lot of people knew this up until just recently, the baby boomers have still been our biggest buyer's demographic. Uh, they're all looking to, to downsize. So um, the millennials have been a big talk, especially uh, amongst the new construction uh, scene. You know, a lot of the new construction, they're all trying to design it towards these millennials that are getting ready to start a family. Um, you know, they do a lot of research on what buyers are looking for. And they decided, okay, buyers are looking for this, which is a big, huge home in the, in the suburbs. Well, the millennials just didn't quite get there as fast as we thought. A lot of them just got out of college, got a ton of debt, struggling to find a job, not quite as established yet to go buy in these three hundred fifty dollars to $500,000 homes. Uh, but they are now getting a little bit more established and they're starting to get pre-approved. So yeah, right now, millennials, believe it or not, are our biggest buying pool. Huh, well, that's great. All right, last question for you. Okay. Which real estate brokerage has the majority market share for Marion County in the Indianapolis area? Uh, that's FC Tucker. Yeah, baby. I got one. I got one. Got one right. Well, All you're right. right. Well, F FC, Tucker, FC Tucker does have the biggest market share. We sell more houses than any other brokerage out there. That is Seth and I's company, FC Tucker. You guys rock. Um, so today, Seth, thanks for playing. We're not going to let you go home empty-handed, though. <laughs> Your consolation prize is going to be a brand new set of ice cube trays. <laughs> hey, all right. We're going to give them to you anyway. So we really appreciate you uh, sticking it out. And it's not an easy game. I need some ice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use them. I'm going to use the heck out of those. <laughs> a lot of cocktails getting out of quarantine. Yeah, that was good. All right. Well, I, I think let's, let's bring on our guest. What do you think? Let's do it. Uh, you want to do the introduction here? Oh, yeah. I am super, super pumped for this guy. Good friend of ours, known him for years. This man's astrological sign is Cancer. He likes sunsets, race cars, cats, and good tunes. He has been a huge part of the Twin Cats. All joking aside, uh, this guy has helped out our band, the Twin Cats, for years. He's helped us out with recordings, uh, recording at his studio being an instrumental part of that whole thing. He has helped our band with lighting, sound, was a huge part of our ESPN gig when we were here, uh, when the Super Bowl was here in Indianapolis. Um, he himself has an amazing band called the Max Allen Band. You got to see this kid play. Please welcome our very, very good friend to the show, Max Allen. What's up, Max? Hey, what's up? I was going to say, you weren't, you weren't wrong on any of those. I wasn't um, wrong. Okay. I, I was no, I, sure I, about I, the cancer part. No, I, yeah, you, you actually nailed that one, too. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I do like long walks on the beach and sunsets, uh, cats, uh, race cars, uh, um, good tunes. You forgot boobies. <laughs> I like my cars like my I like fast cars, fast women. <laughs> fast cars and fast women. What what do I do with my hands? <laughs> well, Max Allen is a, a new newer dad. Oh, wait, um, by the by the way, by the way. That's one of the one of the uh, sayings that I love from uh, Talladega Nights that my wife tells me I can't ever say to my child is, "If you ain't first, you're last." <laughs> well, you could say it. Until I just say it still while I'm at home. Yeah, you just gotta wait till the. You can say it all the time. <laughs> well, Matt, oh, Max Allen, for you guys that don't know, he's actually a, a new dad, so he's feeding his baby. Um, he's multitasking right now. But Max, thank you so much for, for being on our show, catching up with the Catrons. You know, we go way, way back. So, you know, there's a ton of stuff that we could talk about. Uh, but Seth's got a couple of things that he really just kind of wanted to chat with you about and get caught up on. Yeah. All right, shoot. Well, so if you don't know, Max Allen's band has been touring the country for decades. I mean, I think their first album was, what, 73? Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> um, yeah, it was called it was called Little Little Skeet. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've listened to that one. Uh, but now, so what's the what's the, uh, the schedule for the Max Allen Band? Have you guys got anything in the works? I know uh, this whole well, Corona thing it's kind of put a damper on life. It shows. did put a damper on things. I'll tell you that uh, not just um, my own stuff, but everybody else in in the music industry. Um, you know, there are a lot of industries that are failing. Um, but like we like really got like got the shaft. Um, I also do a lot of like you know I do a lot of sound and um, uh, live production work. Uh, working at like Old National for Live uh, Live Nation, and um, just hell getting together with people to record, getting with get other people to practice. Um, all of those things have kind of like gone to the side right now, um, and. Uh, you know, we have a, we've got an album that we have been working on and, you know, I keep saying that it's one of those things for me. It's like, God, the older I get, the more, the longer it takes to do and complete an album, yeah. just logistics, you know, it just happens. Yeah. Life gets in the way, but, um, you know, like we really had our, we had a full steam going, you know, at the beginning, you know, two to 20, 20 looked like really good. You know, when, oh, we were, 20, 20, 20 for everybody looked older, like it was going to be the year. It did. It looked great. It was like, okay, this is the year we're going to do it. We're going to finish up this album. We started working on it hard. We're like, we like had deadlines to make. We're like, okay, we want to get this done in a certain amount of time. Want to get this done in a certain amount of time. We'll start looking for, uh, you know, places to duplicate and really wanted to press a record this year. Like wanted to get a good enough product that, Very cool. um, yeah. you know, was, it, it'd be worthy to put it on vinyl. Um, but uh, yeah, it just uh, it sort of knocked the wind out of those sails. But on the other side of that, um, for me, I know it's not for the same for everybody. I do know a couple of musicians uh, right now that have, well, you yourself, Adam, and then um, uh, fuck, I'm trying to think. Charlie Ballantyne just had a child. Uh, he's a jazz a jazz guitar player oh, here yeah. in town, um, and you know it. I I feel like. Uh, well, actually, there's people in production world. A guy I work with at uh, Old National, one of my bosses, uh, John Segerson. Do you guys know Segerson? I don't think uh, so. Sounds familiar. Oh, Biggie. He just had a child, too. But to think, um, uh, you know, that there is a silver lining here that, like, none of us would have given ourselves the opportunity to take this sort of time off. Like, I never, like, it has been, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, drive home on Sunday for me for a lot of years. And yeah. uh, I just, you know, I would have, oh, look at you, we just want food. Um, I would have never given myself the time to stay home. And plus, I've got something to stay home for. Like, uh, Yeah, man, I would have, I, I totally agree with you there, man. I would not have allowed myself to take the time to be around the family. Um, Adler's 11 months old. And I mean, there's like some major milestones in that first year that I know that I would have missed just being out working in the office. Um, and I totally miss working in the office, but uh, wouldn't regret it, you know, one bit. And so glad 
<laughs> you know, there's always a silver lining, right? Like this whole quarantine thing, everything happens for a reason. I hate that, that saying, but I've uh, been able to get some awesome family time in. And, and, and for all you guys yeah, out if there. You guys, if you guys, oh, I was going to say, I, I will end this broadcast if you guys say we're all in this together. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not at my fucking house. You don't know what goes on here. <laughs> I know. He just got done screaming. Yeah. Earmuffs. <laughs> so, hey, I know you're feeding your, your baby, and I know you've been doing, like, a ton of cooking. Are, are you in the – have you started making baby food yet? I Actually, I, uh, I get, essentially, yes, instead of opening up a can of um, – You chew it up and know, then and spit it into their mouth like a mama bird or <laughs> – <laughs> no, yeah, you know, I mash up some bananas. I do all that. I puree it up myself, you know, do it by hand. I like to, you know, it's artisanal baby food, you know. Yeah, <laughs> artisanal. You got the well, big, you got the butter, you, you got the butter churn out in your, in your shed. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> you got the pants with no button. It's just suspenders. You'd be surprised. Uh, You'd be surprised the fucking uh, professional culinary equipment that I have around this house. I don't know if you, I mean, you guys have known me for years. I don't necessarily do anything like small. No. Uh, like, for example, like I've got, I've got, I, and it's not an uncommon thing to have, but, um, you know, like a cooking stone, like for pizzas. Like we started getting into pizzas and making our own dough and trying to find the perfect pizza. I bought a pizza peel, you know, like one of those fucking, the big, uh, the big spatulas for <laughs> oh, yeah. pizza. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking, like, you know, <laughs> Giuseppe over here, like, twirling pizza dough in my in the air. Like, you're going to build a, a one of those wood brick ovens? Ooh. You know, a way that you can get around that is to buy two pizza stones, put one on the top shelf, and then put the other one on the bottom that you put the pizza on. Put that motherfucker in the oven for on 500 for 45 minutes until that thing gets roasted. And those two pieces of, you know, the, the ceramic tile will keep their heat like a pizza oven so huh. good nice. tip yeah really tip for all of our viewers out there so one thing i wanted to ask you um one of my favorite things you've done over the last year or so i don't even know when you started it but uh the fat things i do facebook has blown up it is it's one of the mo most entertaining things i've seen on facebook in a long long time it, every day i get on there and to see crazy food and what made you want to start that whole thing? I dipped a, uh, um, see, I had some frozen, how did that work? I had, oh, I'm sorry, you want to eat. I had some frozen um, biscuits and gravy, like breakfast gravy, sausage gravy, that I had in a Ziploc bag that was frozen. I tossed it in the fridge and let it like kind of thaw out. I was like, well, I'll make business gravy one of these days, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if it was like, I don't know if I should have named the group stone things I do or what, but like <laughs> I found a, uh, I found kind of a questionable bag of Cheeto puffs, you know, they're kind of getting a little stale. It's like, I didn't just fancy eating the Cheeto puffs by themselves. Yeah. So I was like, Oh, I got this gravy. And then I ended up dipping the cheese puff in the gravy and ate it and was like, man, that's delicious. And I went to take a second scoop. And I caught myself, I, I imagine a lot of junkies have this like moment in their life, like where they like pick up the needle and they're like, what have I done to myself? <laughs> How did I get to this position? <laughs> like, you know. So I took a picture and of it. You did it though. Like, you just man, were like, ah, I'm I was like, it I anyways. Start a, yeah, I'm just going to do it anyway. You know, I got to feed the fuck. I, who knows where the hunger comes from, but it gets fed every day. You know? <laughs> Uh, but uh yeah I, I i snapped a picture of it i put it up on my page and i said man i should really start a you know a blog or a group or something where i can like you know log and it's almost like a like a self-help sort of thing like log the thing it's entertainment and it's self-help you know you look at it any way you want to but it's a way you can log literally the shameful things that you do and put in your body <laughs> so in a culinary aspect. So are, are there any uh, food food capades or food ex food capades? Yeah, food capades. Uh, uh, that you're like just embarrassed about. You wouldn't tell anybody you did it. You know, I have a thing, uh, and I, and I'm not sure because I've got to test it quite possibly a third time. 
when I was a child, I might have been eight years old. My grandparents lived in Myrtle Beach, and we used to go down there. We went down there for one Myrtle Beach and went to one of those all-you-can-eat. Uh-oh, mini hand. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> mini <Baby> hand. <laughs> We went to one of those all-you-can-eat seafood buffets, and I just, like, plowed through some crab, you know, and got back to my grandparents' house, threw up just violently everywhere, <laughs> just, and I, I've eaten crab since then, but my wife and I took a trip down to Myrtle Beach, um, what was this, this might have been two years ago and went to i was like i want to go to an all you can eat buffet i want to get the fucking i want to get the crab you know i got to do this i want to just like spend 50 or 60 bucks on a plate you know and just sit there and just eat crabs till i get sick and <laughs> we let, we ate and then i was like well we got to walk around or something we went to this near open air mall and walked around and i started breaking out the sweats i was like god i'm gonna lose it like Crab sweats. You know, I didn't feel good, sweetheart. I was like, we got to get back. We got to get back to the to the place. So we get in the car. I start driving. I get about a mile down the road. I'm like, holy shit. Frantically pull over. And she's like, what's going on? What's going on? I get out of the car and I just fucking Ralph my brains out. And she's meanwhile, I see look over and she's got her phone and she's like videotaping <laughs> at her lap. Like, <laughs> and, and, She's like, I told you, and like, I ended up getting sick. I don't know if I got like some sort of a bug or virus or whatnot, but we ended up having to leave our Airbnb the next day. It was like checkout day and had to drive back home. And it was going to be a two, like a two day trip. And it was a two day trip. It would have taken more, but like I ended up having to let my wife drive. And this is in the van, right? So the one godsend about building the van out was that I've got I had leftover linoleum that I had put in my bathroom here in the house. I remodeled the bathroom. So like I've that floor in there is the same floor that I've got in my bathroom. And yeah. you know, like right where that's at is where the portable toilet is mounted. Yeah. So like while we're driving 70 miles an hour down the road, I'm like, cu like cuddling with the, with the little porta potty, like every 10 minutes I'm waking up to dry heave in it. And it's just like, so crabs, I guess that long story short is that um, crabs, I, I will try it again, but I will be very cautious um, on the amount of crabs that I eat. <laughs> yeah, we'll just dial it back a little bit. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, man. It's, I, like uh, how, I like how you, uh, how you kind of uh, propose this Facebook page as also being somewhat of a, a health app almost where you can log. Yeah. Yeah. Track. Oh, because I want people to like, I want people to be violent, not like, you know, like not physically violent to people, but, you know, call people a fatty and stuff like that. Like, I'm okay with it. It's like, well, I noticed I started seeing a lot of people really hating on uh, uh, whenever somebody would post a picture of like a salad or something. Oh, like yeah. Healthy. That's out of, like, out of Matt, question. You're, get it out of here. Shut it down. <laughs> shut, shut it down. down. If, if, for you guys out there that didn't catch it, the Facebook page is called The Fat Things I Do. If you got some crazy food that you like to eat or concoct, take a picture, take a video, throw it on there. That is the page for that. And apparently now it's really used for logging and tracking your, uh, your fatness. Followers you got on that. <laughs> you know, that'd be great if you can get on one of those like food tracking apps. Like if you like, if you're so terrible at like trying to like measure your diet that you get a food tracking app and you actually type in all of your like, your flaws, like when you like cheat and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, and, like most yeah. people get a food app. They're like, oh, I'm not going to tell it that I ate that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like that food app reports it to fat things I do and we put them on post. <laughs> that would be, yeah, it's, it's team up with the hey, app. Hey. Look at this sponsor. fatty not following the regiment. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're getting full, aren't Hey, you? have you watched uh, Tiger King? Oh, Please, that's so like five weeks well, ago. Also, have you heard uh, they're going to do a couple of spinoffs? And yeah, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be. Stay uh, home, Dad. You can't get any shit past me. It sounds like. I could correct me if I'm wrong, but is it going to be a series with Joe Exotic from Jail? I highly doubt that. I think Nicholas Cage is going to play him, and it's going to be like a reenactment of something. I don't. I don't see that as getting. I mean, maybe a a movie. I, I, it's it's gonna be hard to see that as like a series. Like we know it ends badly. Like, well, have you heard the other one? 
uh, the, the no. other spinoff. They're going to have, oh, you yeah. know, uh, uh, Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. She's going to be playing Carol Baskin in an, another series. Ooh. That will be hilarious. That might be pretty good. Yeah. That might be pretty good. Yeah. I think it'd be pretty good. So you you like a binge watcher on the Netflix? <sighs> Man, I tell you what, I have I've done my fair share of binge watching lately. Uh, it has been bone appetite because I feel like I've just gone through all of the binging that I can on Netflix and all that stuff. Uh, who's the creator? Oh, damn, I feel terrible because I got late into the game with uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, but they're, uh, they've got a new, the creators of Rick and Morty have a new show that's out. That's, it's pretty good. It's very similar. It's, uh, you know, the world sort of sucks, sort of like, I don't know, they're the mentality of it. Actually, if, if I get too much Rick and Morty in, I get really like, I don't know, my, my attitude and my demeanor towards the whole world. <laughs> well, hey, Max, I got I a question kind of for you. I started, yeah. All right, Max. So with this whole quarantine thing, is there one thing that you have learned a new skill, a new thought, idea, theory, anything? What's the one thing that you've learned that you didn't already have or know before this whole quarantine thing? Like maybe you learned how to juggle. I'm actually learning. No, how to I, juggle. Tried that. Yeah. I actually tried that this morning. It still doesn't work. <laughs> I really did try to juggle this morning. That's weird. Um, <laughs> Making bread um, and just a lot of the culinary stuff. But uh, and I had this I was talking with Seth the other day. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's like I my industry falls apart. And then while in quarantine, I develop a skill for another industry that sucks. right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, you don't are go to Max Allen for a fucking business plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I think. Uh, what have you guys? What have you guys been binging on? Man, I have extreme I know, extreme homes. Weeks. Extreme homes has been my my show. It's yeah. like some like oh my god, it's freaking hilarious, dude! It's like some like European British old oh, wait on Netflix. Actor. Yeah, and then some on skinny Netflix? some skinny little I think like British guy or Canadian guy. Yeah, and I've so. Seen that. It's hilarious. Like they go see these, the most amazing homes you've ever seen. Can't even imagine them in your head. And they go check these out. Yeah, like the, the, and let me think if it's the same one. There's one lady that's got like an airplane on like the side of a hill. Like she bought a fucking airplane yes. and, and like yes. remodeled. Yes. Okay. Yes. I've seen yeah. all of those. Yeah. And so at some point, and so the, the female uh, part of the show, the, the lead or whatever, uh, the host is like a former actress and some other things. So she really loves like the inside of the home and the, the feel of things. Right. But then the guy's like, he's an architect and he's way into the architecture side of all these homes. <laughs> and every episode he like gets out and he like walks way outside from the house and he kind of gives like this, you know, hilltop view of the home and he just talks, talks about the architecture and like, he'll do like one of these. He's like, so here's the thing guys. It's got like this little bit of a, of a, of a top to it. It's got like a little bit of a top and then it's got like this little wiggly thing and he comes up, it's like the stupidest drawing that you've ever seen in the world. And he's like a legitimate architect and he's trying to like explain how the building was built with like a drawing that your freaking son could probably pull off. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm gonna explain sex to my child. I'm gonna just like draw stick figures on a piece of paper and then he just, you know. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So no, yeah. Oh, Extreme, Extreme Homes. If you guys haven't seen it, nice. I haven't seen it. I've been watching uh, um, like the New Kingdom or something like that. I don't know. I I don't watch a whole lot of TV, and then once I usually start watching TV on the couch, I'll just fall asleep. So it takes me forever to get through a whole series. Oh yeah. Oh Ozark. I've smashed Ozark in I haven't like uh, maybe a, a couple of days. Dang. Yeah, a couple of days I smashed Ozark. Oh my god. That one will take you through the that one will take you through it too, man, emotionally. Yeah. How many times have you been peed, puked, and pooped on during quarantine? Mm, 
only puked on twice. I got one of them that was like all in the beard and all over by, the chest. By your, by your Maybe baby. Maybe I can send you guys a picture baby, of it and you can. By my, well, no, that was my wife. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't get a lot of poops on. Uh, you know, you get some remnants that come on the hands like as you're doing the wipe, you know, jobbies. But uh, yeah, he's, he's been a pretty clean baby. Actually, lately in the food process, he's been a, he'll take a bite and then just kind of look at you and go. <laughs> food before one is fun that's oh, the that's goal hilarious. well I'm, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you once we get back to did it go mm -hmm. yeah yeah when you get back out to the farm yeah yeah max actually he's got uh he's got a studio and i think that's where we recorded our very first album very first album was that oh, sound studio yeah and i was going to say for all you guys out there that don't know max uh, actually has been a huge part of uh the ac real estate team with doing a lot of our av video sort of production stuff we got uh, some more projects in, in, the, in the works up here that we're going to bring in on max um but um yeah actually i've had a lot of people asking me who's doing your video and how did you guys do it and i'll tell them i go it's Max Allen, and he's just doing it off of his phone. So, yeah, a lot well, of good, a lot of compliments, Max. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've still got one bill I got to send you. Ah! <laughs> send it. Sorry. <laughs> well, hey, I no, think we'll uh, call. We'll call. I think we're ready. You know, guys, want to do this last segment here together? Yeah, let's get caught Ooh, up yes. on some on some DIY fails. All right. So, usually. Max, we usually do like DIY fails where it's just like, like hilarious but home projects going this wrong. This isn't this one called "Is this a ladder you would use or not"? Yeah. Is that this segment? So today right. we're going to do uh, "Is this a ladder you would use?" And we're just going to go ahead and bring up the first one, and you guys tell me, would you use this ladder? <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, Only if Max I, Allen was holding those guys. Bottom. Yeah, I was gonna say like there's a there's a certain amount of like how you would use that ladder. I would be one of those guys on the bottom, no problem. Yeah, you're okay, what is he doing about him anyways? <laughs> he's changing a, gotta be a light bulb. Changing a light bulb. Gotta be a light bulb. Gotta be a light bulb. Yeah. So so okay, my other thing that makes me feel like this is a safe bet. Are you ready for me here? Yeah. Okay. Look at the the edge on the. Uh, uh, like the second floor, like right above it. There's a lip on the edge. So if that guy were to go and like fall towards one of the walls, you know, obviously he's going to fall forward or fall backwards. If he yeah. falls backwards, he's got a good chance of landing his feet on that little thing and kind of like bracing himself. I don't think he would be totally fucked. No. Going forward, he's just going to land into that front, the front wall and then say the bottom legs slip out. It's only going to hit that back wall. That's a safe bet <laughs> for me. I'm using it. I like the guy over here on the side who's watching just holding a screwdriver. He's like, <laughs> that's the homeowner. Oh, yeah. That's the homeowner. For it's sure. got to be. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably the homeowner. All right. Um, I'd use would it. you use this ladder? Oh, I no. How far of a fall he is, but. Well, he's, I he's, got a, he's, he's got a safety he's strap. A yeah, he's wearing a harness. But it's attached to the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, I might be okay with this too, uh, because look at his homeboy, who's much bigger than he is. He's standing on the bottom of that ladder, I believe. Kind of like but then again, I guess the fulcrum point on the like the banister, I think he might get screwed if he goes too far out on the ladder. Yeah. You know, too far out on the limb, sort of thing. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of counteract his the other guy's weight. So, yes and no. I might have found a safer place to tie off, but. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that there was a conversation before this happened where they're like, I don't know, how much do you weigh? Well, I'm definitely not going out there then. No, fat, you're no fat there was clearly me. no conversation at all. Yeah. yeah sorry, bro. You're, you're way too small. I'm not going to. You're going up there. I think at this point he might have like, kind of like forgot a ladder and they were like, fuck it, John. He's like, we got to get this job done before the end of the day. Do you really want to run back? I'm not coming back to, to this place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're not coming back. We're not coming back. We're not coming back. <laughs> I would not use that ladder, no. Would you rather be the guy on top or the guy holding the ladder? 
<laughs> Top or bottom? <laughs> I know. Depending on, depending on what he's doing, you can be sitting there holding that thing for a long time. Adam, don't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next uh, one. In recent news, Adam Catron is a <laughs> top or bottom. <laughs> Coming up next. <laughs> All right, what'd you use this ladder? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's a long jabronis. way. Some jabronis putting in an AC. Uh, that's oh, no, stories. that's a... Uh, oh man, I don't know where that that looks like something suspiciously from like an Asian country. Yeah, I was thinking Russia. Uh, uh, I I watch these. See, I'm a I'm a member of one of these groups on Facebook called AV Disasters. Yeah, and there's a guy who does all of these things, and he's got the he's got a melody that he sings for it, for it, and it's a and it I can't remember what it is. Uh, it's a melody from an old movie or something like that. But uh, and it might be he'd be a uh, uh, Wizard of Oz melody of some sort, but he goes in a world of OSHA violations. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so before I pick this next picture, I think this oh, is where hey, we're at. I would not use that ladder too, by the way. <laughs> I wouldn't. No way. You can see both both guys aren't even paying attention. Nope, they're fuck ops. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before I pick, I show you the next picture. You got to pick. Would you be top or bottom? Stop saying it like that. <laughs> top. You got holder or climber? How's that sound? A holder or climber? <laughs> um, I'm I'm climbing on this one, guys. I'll I'll be your holder, Max. Oh, thanks, partner. <laughs> oh wait, no, we'll we'll do that one for the next one. Uh, now that we know this one, I don't really know. It seems like. He could probably hang himself pretty easily with the straps he's got going on right there. I think I, I don't know how he got on it. Yeah. Hold on. Is he hanging himself? I don't understand what is going on here. He's got it like a strap at the bottom of the ladder, and I'm guessing it's attached to the top of the ladder. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't use this. Hold on. I guess I can. you can zoom in. Um, you know what? I don't look like it doesn't look like he's is he tied off? What the hell is oh, that? I don't know what he's tied off to. Yeah, it's that's that one's a hard one to say because uh he's definitely set up to hang himself. He's like, go <laughs> on, Betty, kick the lower ladder out. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um he no, but what he should do before he hangs himself is finish the fucking job. I mean, look at the siding <laughs> on this on the right of him. <laughs> At least the get spot. the job done, Hank. Oh my! How did you? If he's got it tied off like that, how did he climb up on that ladder without it kicking out at the bottom? You know. Hmm. Hmm. He's gonna like wiggle around the strap, and then I don't know. I don't know. A lot of a lot of respect for that guy. That yeah. one's a that that's one's a almost a that's an anomaly. Yeah, yeah. that's a skill. That's an odd one. So Max, you said you'd be holder. Adam, you said you'd be climber. Or was it the other way around? No, I'm a climber. I'm, I'm a, a climber. I'm you guys are holding. I'm holding. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is my favorite. How that long? Veronica Vaughn <laughs> is one piece it's of ace. ace. How long is that guy going to stand there like that? He looks like he's Dude, I don't know, man. I, yeah. He's, he's like, look, Jim. He goes, you wanted to work for me. This is the shit you got to put up with, okay? <laughs> That's what it's called, being on the bottom of the fucking rung, okay? <laughs> New guy, get over here. Oh, God. That's awesome. Well, that's, that's all we got for, for today. I wish we could play a game. Is it a poop or is it a fart? Mm. Yeah. that'll be on next week's episode yeah. but for now that is it for this week's episode of catching up with the katrins max thanks, thank you so much for being on our show we'll definitely have you back on thanks for having um, me you know the baby's looking like it's getting big so you're doing a good job 
keeping him fed. But um, we don't show him online. But I'm ready to put a couple of. I'm gonna put a couple of like eyeballs on the. I'm gonna draw a little face back here. Yeah, there you because go. Because I, I, I don't want the. Uh, I don't want that. You know. Fa- oh God. <laughs> Well, hey, guys, we will see you all next week on another episode of Catching Up with the Catrons. Seth, Max, I'll catch you guys later. Later. Deuces. Thanks, guys. Later. See you, man.